The following segment is sponsored by Smith Injury Law and 300hurt.com. After being involved in an auto accident, there's a lot going on and it can be overwhelming from dealing with insurance, taking care of your own health, and protecting your case. You don't want to make a mistake. So Richard Smith is here from Smith Injury Law to discuss that and talk about some things. Good morning. Good morning, Margaret. Uh, first thing, right after an accident, it's really common for the person involved to go get checked out at the emergency room. Um, tell us what happens there. You should always go to the emergency room if you're having any kind of pain or you think you were injured in the accident and get checked out. Uh, Sometimes, though, they will say, you know, come back in several weeks if you're not, if, if you're still hurting. Uh, that's a mistake. You need to be checked out by your family doctor or, or seen by somebody else if you're having any pain after a couple of days because you don't want to have a gap in treatment. Right. And, and I guess if at any point in the process the person is told, you know, follow up with this doctor, follow up with that doctor, but they, they put it off, that it's one more thing on their to-do list and they don't make it there, that's when they're getting themselves in trouble, right? Absolutely. What happens sometimes people just don't go back to the doctor after the ER and maybe several weeks down the road, they're still having problems, and they decide, okay, it's still bothering me. I'm going to go on to the doctor now. Well, now you've had a long gap in treatment. The insurance company may deny any, for tr any, any more medical treatment because now they're going to claim, well, if you were really hurt, you'd been back to the doctor sooner than this. So that's a big problem in a case. If you're hurt, you've got to get medical treatment. Yeah, so prioritize those visits. And the problem there is just lack of documentation. If there's no documentation or proof of that injury, it gives the insurance company a big opening to say, you know, maybe the injury didn't happen in that crash. What do you want people to know? Also, don't think that you can't go back to the doctor if you don't have insurance, for example. We have doctors we can refer you to that will treat you and hold their bill until the case is settled. And so if you have a situation where you just can't afford to go back to the doctor because you don't have health insurance, if you're hurting and you're involved in an accident and it's not your fault, we can, we can definitely help, help that situation. Yeah, and, and it's nice to have your, you in somebody's corner as, as a, somebody they trust because a lot of times there are mistakes that people can make after an auto accident that they just might not think about. You wrote a book about that. Absolutely. That's part of the book, obviously, in the, in the chapter about gaps in medical treatment. If you don't go to the doctor regularly, you can't document your injuries. So if you're sitting home using ice packs and taking uh, goody powders or whatever, you can't document that to the insurance company. So this is, this is a situation where you have to prove your injuries. It's your burden of proof, not theirs. Yeah. And at Smith Injury Law, your practice areas include personal injury, workers' compensation, car and truck collisions, Social Security disability claims. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your practice and what it's like to work with you. Well, we try to take our clients' uh, complaints seriously. We represent the client. We, we, we argued on their behalf. Uh, we uh, try, to, try to give them free information whenever possible. We, we help them with property damage claims as well as bodily injury claims. But we're there for you. There's no fee to ever talk to us about the case when you can get a free consultation. And we only get a settlement if the case is settled or we get a verdict at trial. Now, costs are a separate issue, but costs are usually very minimal in a case until you're looking at litigation down the road. Yeah, well, people uh, can read 10 Critical Mistakes book. They can request that from you for free and really learn a lot. And they can visit uh, 300hurt.com or they can call you at 300hurt uh, to learn more. Richard Smith, Smith Injury Law, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Margaret. Now